So, good morning. Welcome to episode two of the van build. I have just gotten back from my morning run. If you didn't know, I am training for a triathlon and that is gonna be a big part of this entire YouTube channel. So, had to get that run in this morning, um, but I'm gonna go up and take a quick shower and get changed before we get stuck into the build this morning. We are doing insulation today. First time I've ever done it, so let's try it out. Okay, let's get into today's episode. So I do have the thermal liner here in front of me. We are going to be insulating the van today. I am going to be using this um, Amatillin product um, on the ex interior wall, sorry, for the single steel layer. Um, this is a five mil thick um, double-sided reflective insulation. It has foam on the inside, so it's gonna do really well in keeping this van nice and cool in the hot Australian sun. And um, I'm also going to be using a spray-on adhesive because this doesn't have a peel-back adhesive backing, um, but it does come with a double-sided reflective, so that's a huge bonus. And I'll also be using some foil tape to seal up any gaps within it. So I'm going to go ahead and measure out the van and all the panels that I need to cover up, and we will get started. Just taking a quick break, I have got this quarter panel completed. It looks really nice so far. It's taken me a little bit longer than expected, but I will get this done today. And then I'll jump onto the quarter panel over here. But real simply, a few tips. I would definitely save any little pieces that you have and cut off so that you can shove into any nooks and crannies for extra insulation um, once you are completed. All I'm simply using is some scissors, a tape measure, a Sharpie, just to mark out the insulation. It is really simple to cut, so just some scissors is fine. I would also measure a little bit long. So what I mean by that is measure over the distance of what you're trying to cover because the insulation is very flexible. So you'll be easily able to conform the insulation to the shape that you need and then just use the insulation tape as a nice finisher, as you can see here. So it's super simple. I'm gonna have some lunch and then get started on the rest of the van. quick update it is 350 and I've been going for about three or four hours but I'm doing really well a little bit of a wardrobe change it got a little bit hot out here the reason why it's taking me so long is all in these wheel wells and these little pockets have been really hard to insulate but it is coming along really well super happy with it I just spent the last 45 minutes scrubbing the roof because I'm gonna go ahead and do that next uh, just because I want to make sure that I have enough material to get all the little sections done first, but I'll do all the big panels. It's nice and quick, and then if I need to run off to Bunnings and get some more gear, I'll definitely go ahead and do so, but I'll time-lapse the roof, roof for you, and we'll get back into it. Take 12, I have 
a new can of adhesive spray and hopefully no more rain. done for the day finally the rain has stopped the sun has come out just as I stopped doing all the work I tried to set up the GoPro just outside of the van a few times and it started bucketing down rain so I missed a few panels for you guys at the front but I was able to get the last few on GoPro footage but everything's finally done it's gonna keep this van nice and cool once again all I used was some Sealy's adhesive spray some amatillin 5 mil uh, foam insulation, it is double-sided with the reflective, so that's really going to help on these hot summer days. And also some foil tape just that you can see behind me. So, thank you so much for tuning in once again. I know this was a little bit of a dull kind of video with just insulation, but at least hopefully that gives you some tips. If you have any comments that you want to leave down below, any questions, please feel free. I'll definitely get back to you. But otherwise, stay tuned because we have electrical coming up and I know that's really going to be exciting for a lot of you guys and for myself included. So definitely keep trying things out and keep, keep happy. <laughs>